marsupials, all right? This person that I'm about to show y'all made their whole name, they whole, bro, this guy probably makes millions of dollars a year, bro, just, just off YouTube and exposing people, all right? Some, I can't lie, his content is, is on point. His content is on point, all right? I'm talking about 1090 Jake, bro. I'm talking about 1090 Jake, bro. All right. 1090 Jake made his whole persona. He made his whole living, his whole YouTube off of exposing people. Well, how come Jacob Cherry keeps getting exposed? Now, this is the third or fourth time Jacob Cherry has been exposed. All right. So for those of y'all that don't know, a couple of months, bro, like, and it's all happening so fast. A couple of months ago, he got exposed for uh, writing a police statement, which he said was false. He wrote a police statement saying that some kids were shooting at his window. He says that he was lying because he wanted to steal some guns out of his aunt's room. So he said that he was lying. There was no real kids that, but he gave a description and all that stuff like that. Some people were saying that some kids actually did get locked up for that. Some people were saying that it didn't. We let that slide. What I didn't let slide was the last time that Jacob Cherry got exposed for biting cheese. Now, the reason why this is a whole issue is because this man is supposedly a big blood. He said he's the biggest white blood that there ever was. He said he's the biggest white blood. This is his words, quote unquote. He's the biggest white blood that there ever was, champ. All right? So why do you get caught telling time and time after again and you niggas, just because son is popular, y'all let it slide. I'm not letting it slide, all right? I wasn't letting it slide since the last time that he got caught up. And for those of y'all that didn't see the last time he got caught up, he was on the news, Channel 7 News in Florida, where he was exposing how contraband and drugs and all that get brought into jail. All right? Let's see that. Easy is it to get drugs in a Florida prison? Every single compound I hit, oh, there was Bobby all Hill, types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, molly, some spots it was cocaine and meth, but nothing more common than K2. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate, posted the videos to YouTube. Okay. And, and there's no staff present, there's no staff seeing this. The majority of the drugs that I know of that are coming inside is through the gods. When you're what? not busy making any money and a $30 phone on the street turns into a $1,200 phone inside of prison, a lot of Now, this man is saying that these guards is bringing in all the contraband. Um, he's saying, and this was what we were, I went live on this before, Champa, right? When he got exposed before that, all the guards, but what he's not saying is that some of them guards is gang members, some of them guards is in the streets, bro. So you're not just telling on police, you're telling on actual people, bro. Like, you're telling on people that's cool with the gang members, bro, and that's bringing them stuff. You're telling. To me, if you lead a news investigation on illegal activity and you're a gang member, you cannot be a gang member no more, bro. I'm going to say that again. If you lead a Channel 7 news investigation on who's bringing in what contraband to jail, you can never in your life say that you are a gang member, son. That's just a fact. That's just how I see it. That's how I saw it. And we and we did a video on it and we left it alone. Now it's some new allegations, two new allegations within the last 48 hours, champ, about your man Jacob Cherry biting the cheese, son. All right. So this is from when he was locked up before. And like a lot of this stuff is coming out from his past. Ain't none of this stuff recent. A lot of this stuff is coming out about his past, all right? 
So I'm going to break it down to y'all like this. I'm going to read it. Um, I'm going to read the statement. And yes, this is a real statement. Yes, this is a real statement. Okay. He said himself, he, he will, we'll get into what he said. All right. But this is definitely a real statement and I'm going to read as much as I can because he writes like chicken scratch. All right. He writes like chicken scratch, but I'm going to read as much as I can. Please make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe. All right. So this is what it says. It says, uh, on 116, 2014, I was sitting on my bunk when inmate Jimmy Her Harvey hit me with a rock and sock on my head. Uh, all right. This was during morning shift change. The officer came in and cuffed him. All right. So then he goes on to say, um, what the officers did to him. All right. And all I needed to see was that first paragraph. All I needed to see was that first paragraph. All right. Because you named the name. This is not like, bro. Like it's weird where the clearer persuasion of folks get to be able to be picked and choose. You gave a name. This is not a domestic dispute. Like I said, bro, domestic disputes, shorties or, or men. I advise y'all to call the police, bro. All right. Don't be fighting with no shorty. Is she trying to cut you and all that? She trying to burn down your crib. Call the police champ. All right. Shorty, if dude is beating on you and all that, call the police champ. All right. That's what they're there for. But if you're actively in the gang, you're actively in the gang. This person did not hit you with a rock in the sock for no reason. Let's 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 get that straight. Let's keep it real. That person did not hit you with a with, with a rock in the sock or a lock in the sock or whatever it was, chin soap in the sock. They did not hit you for no reason. They hit you probably because y'all was banging. And like you said, y'all got they they put all the bloods on, on the bus and transferred y'all to, to another jail. All right. You had to go back to reception and then y'all went to another jail. So they did a gang takedown and you got took down in the gang sweep. Correct. He said that was a grievance and people are saying, oh, there's a difference between writing a grievance and telling. Well, the difference that I don't see is son mentioned a name. He mentioned a name, bro. This person, Jeremy, uh, whatever son last name is, hit me on the head while I was sitting on my bunk during shift change. But then the police came and then they locked me up like I did something. and They treated me unfairly, but but he was the one that hit me. I didn't hit him. He he hit me. The police is lying like, bro. You're telling you're in a part of a gang, you know what being in a gang means? And you probably don't understand this because you're not of my persuasion, champ, all right? You're not of my persuasion, champ. So you probably don't understand. And this is this is how I know that privilege exists. As a black man, first and foremost, I know that everything is against me. I know that it's not going to be fair. I know that punishment is not going to be fair. I know, I know, like when I was doing what I was doing, I, I knew punishment was not going to be fair for me. I knew that, I knew that the establishment that is to be champ, I knew the establishment wanted me out of here champ. We just an enemy of the establishment period. Just me being of my persuasion. If y'all get my drift. Also being in the gang, it makes it two times worse. So not only am I. Uh, enemy of the state per se quote unquote but i'm also now in a gang that they can identify and they're going it's going to be unjust situations bro but you cannot open your mouth and tell on people and you can't tell on employees you just can't tell you chose 
to live this life of crime, champ, all right? You chose to live this life of throwing up bees and wearing red rags. This is what you have to do, bro. You cannot write grievances as the gangbanger. You cannot write grievances, oh, they got it wrong. He hit me. I didn't hit him. He hit me. I didn't hit him. Y'all got it wrong. And then they put me in, in, in. Bro, you're that this is what happens, bro. So that's so that's just like you in a you in a toast out, right? Y'all niggas in the toast out. And you don't hit somebody, but they blame you for hitting somebody. You can't tell on your you can't tell on somebody else, whether it be your man or the enemy, and say, oh, no, but I seen him letting off first and all that. So I don't know why y'all doing it like that to me. He was the one that let off, and, and I retaliated. Like, bro, you can't do that, bro. This is the life you chose. You chose to bang out. This is the life you chose, bro. You, I don't know why the internet gives Jacob Cherry so many chances to bite cheese. Everybody is giving this man excuses on biting cheese. DJ Academics, all these guys is giving son the opportunity to bite cheese. I'm going to play what he said as a response. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe. Make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to my main channel at Talking Tough with Steno. YouTube.com slash at Tough Steno. Let's go. So you agree that was you wrote all this stuff? The whole, whole thing I wrote, bro. I'm I'm writing to the warden. Like, look, this the situation I'm in. You got to make it sound some type of something. Nah, like, yeah, yeah. What, what I'm going to be like, like, hey, hey, warden, I'm big gangster, but let me out of confinement. You think they finna? Nah. That's going to work like that. And they probably looking at my DRs because I already done been for confinement, for weapons and everything else. Already when it happened. So it's like once that happened, they boosted up my custody level to closed custody. I got shipped off the unit in a gang suite. So they sent all the Bloods and Zoes in one bus back to reception. And then I ended up going to an adult prison. So I had to finish my confinement time at Appalachia CI. And then I got in the more when I got over there. I was fighting in there, whatever, whatever. So that's how I ended up doing 210 days of confinement. He tries to justify telling, all right? He tried to justify telling by saying the warden had it out for him and he got shipped here and, oh, I can't, I, I can't tell the warden, oh, I'm throwing up big bees, but just let me out of confinement. So what you're saying is you had to play like you was a marsupial in order to get out of confinement, which it still didn't work because the grievance, I mean, you, you still got shipped somewhere else. This is what I'm saying, bro. Son definitely is a marsupial. You. you can't throw the stone and hide your hand, bro. You can't throw the rock and hide your hand, bro. All right? This is this this is what gang banging is, bro. If you a real gangster, bro, you're not lying to nobody. If you a real G, you're not lying to nobody, bro. You get in trouble for what you get in trouble for, bro. So what? Son hit you and you got sent sent into uh uh confinement. So what? When you get out, you spin the block on son. When you get out, you spin the block on son, bro. Bro, you don't write grievances. That's just something that you don't do, bro. You don't go around telling, bro. And and bro, it's 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 just mean, bro. Like. The internet is just a bunch of kids, bro. And you got a bunch of kids that just look up to Sun, bro. Even though Sun is a kid, I think Sun's still in his 20s. You got a bunch of these kids looking up to Sun and they don't know what's right and wrong.